Hey world, Alicia here, and this is my guide. Today I wanted to do a review on Glam Glow Pout Mud. This is a fizzy lip system that is a treatment with both a balm and an exfoliator, which I think is pretty awesome. I'm gonna talk about the good and the bad and the ugly, starting off with the ugly, and that's the fact that these are really expensive. They are 49 Canadian dollars plus tax. I got them as the seventh item out of the six items I purchased during my Sephora 20% off haul thing. I did a video on it if you wanna click here. I only showed the six items because I got this two days after filming. I wasn't gonna buy anything else, but since Sephora has a sale for four days, I couldn't resist, so I went back to the store and I bought the prettiest thing I could find, which was these. The second reason why I bought these is because Jaclyn Hill mentioned them in her September or October favorites, one or the other. My downside for this is I wish you could buy them separately because just like Jaclyn Hill, I do prefer the wet balm way more. This one is incredible. To talk about the ugly first, this is not meant for the Canadian climate. I thought that I could use this as a day balm and wear it during the day, but I think this is much better suited for the night because when I use this during days that are like minus five to minus seven, which really aren't anything here in Toronto, if you live in a climate and this sounds like a crazy number to you, I am so jealous because that is like fall temperatures and we've been experiencing a very mild winter and it is coming. The winter is coming, minus 30 is coming, and I was hoping that I could use this as a defender against the cold chill, but it's not quite there yet. For 50 bucks, you really do expect something to be incredible, like give you baby butt soft lips. Not so much. I do want to say that I absolutely love this. You have to use it in excess, which is something that also turned me off because if I'm spending that much on a product, let's just be real. Anything that I buy at Sephora, I like to use the smallest amount possible because everything's so expensive there. So I thought that I could get away by using just a little bit, especially since it's thicker than Vaseline. It has a really nice, smooth consistency, but no. If you try to skimp on this, you won't get the effects. You do kind of have to put a nice, generous, thick layer on. Wear it for at least eight hours, which is why I suggest wearing it before bed, through your sleep, and then you'll feel soft, supple, beautiful lips in the morning. For the fizzy lip balm, the ugly is that the first couple times I used it, I thought it didn't work because it didn't fizz. And the whole reason why I was excited by this is because it was called a fizzy lip balm. I expected it to fizzle and bubble and really slough off my dead skin. Instead, it's pretty mediocre. What I do like is that it has a soft minty flavor, which you're not supposed to eat, but I accidentally had some in my mouth and that's when I felt like it was like pop rocks, you know the candy. Flavor kind of like dentist mint, which is very like light, but don't eat it. You're not supposed to eat it. There's nothing I can really contribute to the bad when it comes to these products because it's only that they're not as incredible as they could be. The good is that these are loaded with a lot of natural ingredients. Yeah, there's some ingredients that I can't identify nor pronounce, but for the most part, there's tons of essences, extracts, and oils that make these incredibly moisturizing. Let's see if I can remember them all. There's castor, sunflower, safflower, olive, ahoba, there is shea butter, almond, guava, coconut, ooh, did I say shea butter already? <laughs> it's getting difficult. Papaya and, oh man, ooh, almond and spearmint. If I forgot any, I'll list them in the information box, but I think I've got them all. So I thought that was pretty interesting and good. I think that's what I can kind of rationalize the high price for because there's no other products that I know of that have that many fruit essences. And to add to it, the wet balm also has apple extract, which I thought was pretty cool. Being a nutritionist, I know the health benefits of all of these food ingredients, including the fact that they're humectants, which means that they will draw out the moisture from the environment and suck them into whatever you're putting them in. So to have humectants for your hair, your skin, and your lips is really good at keeping the moisture in and also bringing the moisture kind of like a reverse osmosis instead of sucking it out by dry air, bringing it in. The second thing that's really good about having these natural ingredients is the fact that they really do work. A lot of time there's products like chapstick that have counter ingredients that kind of contribute to you being addicted to the product because they dry it out while adding moisture at the same time. Same goes for hair products and skin products. It's kind of bad, but that's how a lot of beauty companies make money by getting you addicted to something that also gives you the problem so that you keep using it. Just check your ingredient list. I've been using the wet balm every single night since I bought this in mid-November and I haven't even reached a third, not even a quarter of the way. And as for the fizzy lip, which I use probably about once a week, I've reached about a third of the way, but you do have to use a lot of product with this, like a lot of a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. 
If you do, you know what to do. Thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And until next time, love and later. Uh, the balm and the fizzy lips, or the fizzy lips and the balm. And I thought, honey, coconut, no, there wasn't honey. Ooh, rewind.